So just doing some follow up work on this crafter. Um, it's just had a new lambda sensor and it's just had the um, intake manifold gasket replaced because it had a really bad air leak. So um, it's only done about 30 miles since that work was done. So I'm just looking at the IM readiness to get all of the uh, monitors to kick in. So it'll be uh, ready for an emissions test. So we're still waiting on the O2 sensor. The secondary air is kicked in now. That wasn't kicked in yesterday, so that's come to life now. That's good. Don't normally need to worry about the EVAP system. So it's this oxygen sensor. So we're expecting it just to kick in naturally. Provided everything's good, which it should. So back to the crafter again, it's been out for a, a run yesterday, it's did about a 100 mile round trip. So we've got uh, IM readiness on all of the uh, emission sensors now. So we've got EVAP system okay, secondary air okay, oxygen sensor okay. So this is following on from um, the inlet manifold had a bad air leak and my lambda sensor readings were way out of whack. Well, it was flatline and there was just nothing on my lambda sensor readings. So uh, I, I did as most would initially and I just changed the lambda sensor, um, which made no difference. And then I came to the conclusion that it was unmetered air, uh, which was right because the inlet manifold gasket was leaking. So of course it affected my emissions. Um, so yeah, I'm pleased now. All of the uh, monitors to do with the emissions are now back online. But it's took a few miles to get everything to kick in. It's uh, two or three runs out, maybe 50, 60 mile in total, something like that. So I'll get an emissions test on early next week and we'll see uh, how that looks, but that'll hopefully be okay now, we'll have to see.